I don't know about you, but I wear a suit, a tie. Actually, I wear a tuxedo and a, a long tie, not a bow tie, and a vest at all the weddings that I do. Hi, this is Bill. This is Creative License. Thanks for being a part of it again. Uh, this is, uh, of course, sponsored by Electro Voice, the, the best speakers in the history of the entire planet. <laughs> Thank you for them, because without them, a lot of this stuff is impossible. Um, uh, plus, of course, my workshop, The Entertainment Experience. If you want to know more about the workshop, you can go to entertainment-experience.com. Anyway, the reason I bring up uh, what I wear at wedding receptions is because at a certain point in the evening, I will go as far as to remove my tie. I don't usually remove my jacket, but I will remove my tie. And there's a place in the evening where I feel comfortable enough to lose the formality a little to take off my tie. And it's usually well beyond um, the introductions, the first dances. It's usually after like the bouquet toss. I'm talking about weddings again. Or, uh, uh, or any other thing that I have to stop the party for and, and, and bring focus into me to be able to bring focus onto the thing they're creating. Normally, you know, if the dance starts around, say, 7.30, 8 o'clock, it's usually around 9.30, quarter to 10. You know, by then I'm, I'm at my rig. I'm really, I'm just working the party, right? And I'm, it's weird. It's a weird thing. I know. You know, even the guys, there's friends of mine that will wear their stuff all, all day long. And they'll look down on me and go, oh, really? Take your tie off? Well, come on now. But I get that people do that. It's, it's my own thing. And for a while, I, I, I justified it and said I did it because, you know, at that point, I should look more casual because my clients are starting to look more casual. But truth be told, I'm probably doing it as much for me or more for me because <laughs> I don't know about you, but but I sweat when I work. And uh, at some point, you know, I don't want to look like Albert Brooks in broadcast news. <laughs> so tie comes off, makes me feel better. Anyway, the reason I bring this up is... Uh, I always have an assistant with me, and I'm very specific about the assistant being as professional as I am, so they wear a suit as well, either a tuxedo or a suit, okay, but always wears a tie, black and white, wearing a tie. Well, last night at the event I did with him, I come back to the rig, I pull my tie off, I look over at him, and he's taking his tie off already, already, before me, he took his tie off. And it's like, wait a minute, no, no, no. You're supposed to be matching my energy. You're supposed to be matching how I am. And I, <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, I said, wait a minute, you know, you're not supposed to take your tie off until I do. Uh, you didn't have permission to take off your tie. Who gave you permission to take off your tie? And uh, actually, he's holding the camera for me. And what did you tell me? I said, I talked to my wife. She said it was okay to take off my tie. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know how you answer that, except, yeah, okay, you're right, I guess I'm being stupid and a little anal. Okay, you're right. <laughs> and I'm kind of afraid of his wife, so, all right, darling, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making a point, but I thought it was a fun story. If you, if you have a story like that, feel free to put it in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you next week on Creative License. Enjoy your time. <laughs>